This is a sample of the information provided as part of the flexible training resources available through HACCP.com. Our training courses are designed to provide training participants with an understanding of food safety and quality system elements and also offer user-friendly assessment activities and competency checklists to complete the training cycle. Customer Focus and Customer Complaint Management Key Definitions for Customer Focus and Customer Complaint Management Complainant A complainant is someone who has lodged a complaint. Customer Complaint Notification of displeasure or disappointment regarding a product or service received. Customer focus. Customer focus is a term used to describe the structured systems through which a food business reviews, trends and analyses customer expectations and requirements. This may also include customer contact and communication requirements. Key performance indicator or KPI a quantitative or qualitative measure that enables the overall delivery of a service to be assessed against the goals or targets set by an entity in their strategic plan. Also known as a KRA or Key Result Area. Customer Focus and Customer Complaint Management Development When considering the development, documentation and implementation of customer focus and customer complaint management within food safety and quality management systems, the following information should be considered to ensure effective outcomes about customer focus and customer complaint management. Customer focus activities. Proactive customer focus. Reactive customer focus. Customer requirements. About customer focus and customer complaint management. Without customers, food businesses do not survive. It is important that food businesses understand the sometimes rapidly changing and evolving requirements of customers, and anticipate customer requirements before they change. This process is aimed at meeting customer requirements through a strategic approach to identifying and managing customer needs. The benefits of customer focus include, developing and maintaining an understanding of customer needs, meeting customer requirements, exceeding customer expectations, Ensuring food safety, food quality and ethical sourcing requirements are maintained in accordance with customer specifications. Ability to obtain increased revenue and market share through efficient and flexible responses to market opportunities. Effective use of the business resources including plant, equipment, staff and processes to enhance customer satisfaction. Ongoing business through continued customer loyalty. It is important that the senior management of any food business play a leading role within the management and review of the customer focus and customer complaints processes. This will ensure general awareness of product or service issues as they occur, rather than after a significant incident has occurred. Customer focus and customer complaint management review activities must be scheduled, conducted and recorded as elements of established verification activities within any food business. Customer focus activities. Customer focus activities are important to provide verification regarding the related processes. These activities can be divided into two areas. Proactive customer focus and reactive customer focus. Proactive customer focus. Proactive customer focus generally involves a communicative process to ensure systems and procedures are developed, implemented and maintained to provide a strong foundation on which customer requirements can be met and customer expectation can be exceeded. Proactive customer focus provides a strong foundation upon which mutually beneficial customer relationships can be built and maintained. Proactive customer focus may include regular communication with customers regarding their opinion of products or services being received, reviews of product specifications, contracts, and other relevant documentation to ensure the customer is receiving an appropriately costed, quality product and or service. Systematically managing customer relationships. Ensuring all staff and contractors are aware of customer needs and expectations. Researching and understanding the needs and requirements of customers. The development, implementation and management of objectives that are linked to those of the customer. Acting upon identified opportunities for improvement. Facilitating a balanced approach to managing relationships with current and prospective customers. Reactive customer focus. Reactive customer focus includes procedures and mechanisms through which customer incidents, concerns or complaints are received, 
investigated and rectified within appropriate timeframes, and with the required sufficiency. Corrective and preventative actions are important elements of this process, as they can be used to ensure similar incidents, concerns or complaints do not occur again. Customer focus is obviously better managed and maintained by proactive measures, but reactive measures must be readily available for the management of any customer issues if and when they arise. Reactive customer focus may include documenting responses and investigations regarding customer incidents, concerns or complaints, and ensuring related protocols are followed whenever a customer issue arises. Using corrective actions as a stimulus to improve business systems so that similar customer issues do not occur again. Implementing appropriate preventative actions after a customer issue has occurred, to ensure that similar customer issues do not occur again. Customer requirements. Customer requirements are the aspects that the customer or consumer wants from product or service from any particular business. Once the basic and expected elements of customer requirements have been met, Desired and unanticipated elements can be addressed to produce increased customer confidence and loyalty. A common method of understanding what elements of your customer focus and customer complaints management systems require the most attention is to find out from your customer what exactly is important to them. This may be done by presenting a survey to your customer, including questions such as the following, How well do we deliver what we promise? How often do we do things right the first time? How often do we do things right on time? How quickly do we respond to your request? How accessible are we when you need to contact us? How helpful and polite are we? How well do we speak your language? How well do we listen to you? How hard do you think we work at keeping you a satisfied customer? How much confidence do you have in our products or services? How well do we understand and try to meet your special request? Overall, how would you rate the appearance of our facilities, products, communications, and people? Can you list any specific instances where we have fallen down? Overall, how would you rate the quality of our service? What could we do to improve our service to you? Overall, how would you rate the quality of service provided by our competitor? How willing would you be to recommend us? How willing would you be to buy from us again? Are we doing or not doing anything that bugs you? What do you like best about what we do? What parts of our service are most important for you? What parts of our service are least important to you? Once you have received feedback from your customers, you can define which customer requirements can be categorized as following, which are presented in the logical sequential order from the elements that need to be addressed first, basic expectations. Basic elements are those that are critical to providing value to the customer. These could be either the product itself, or the way in which a service provider acts towards the customer. It is important for both examples to ensure that a proactive approach to customer focus is implemented, as there is no point trying to sell the product or service to the customer without these basic elements. Expected Expectations Expected elements of the product or service are what the customer has come to expect from the supplier. These are usually preconceived expectations, based on best practice, legislative and industry compliance. Expected elements include the customer's expectation that the sales and marketing team of a food business has high levels of product and process knowledge. Customers also expect that food is of substantial quality and safe until its designated use by date. Desired expectations. Desired elements of customer expectations are those that the customer does not expect, but value highly and genuinely appreciates when they are present. These may include promotional or permanent size increases for a product, or a complementary addition to a service provided. Desired elements are an important resource in maintaining customer confidence and loyalty to brands of products and services. Desired elements add value for the customer and also promote added value for the supplier through return custom. Unanticipated expectations Unanticipated elements are often grouped closely with the desired elements, but are generally separated when the expectations of the customer has been overwhelmed. This may include circumstances in which the customer is given products and or services which are far beyond what they had anticipated. It may be an unexpected offer from the supplier to assist with transport costs 
or the initial offer from the supplier to tailor a product and or service to the customer's specific requirements. It is important to consider that desired and unanticipated elements can become expected elements within long-term supplier and customer relationships. This is not always a negative situation, as long-term customer interactions are beneficial to both suppliers and customers alike. Customer Complaint Management When your business receives a customer complaint, it is important to record the complaint details and conduct an investigation prior to responding to the complaint. This enables your business to identify potentially unsafe products and correct non-conformance issues or opportunities for improvement within in your food safety management systems. There are three main components to the customer complaint management process, recording of the initial complaint information, investigating the complaint and recording the findings, taking action based on the investigation findings, recording of the initial complaint information, Complaints should be recorded by a designated individual or individuals, and should include details such as name, address, email address and telephone number of the complainant. What is the problem with the product, for example, chemical taste, allergic reaction, illness, foreign object? Product details including product name, package type, product size, product identification coding. Details of whether the complainant has a sample of the product. Retail details including name and address of where the product was purchased. Date of purchase. Details of storage and handling after purchase. Illness and injury details including details of the consumption date and time. Details of whether the food been consumed before by the customer. Number of persons consuming the product. Number of people ill or injured. Names and ages of the people ill or injured. Amount of product consumed. Did you know that HACCP.com includes resources that allow you to create, manage and implement GFSI and HACCP based food safety and quality programs? Improve your food safety and quality skills and knowledge? Train and develop your team to create better food safety and quality outcomes? Find suppliers and service providers to partner with your business? The information and training resources available through HACCP.com included a variety of formats, such as, website content, MP4, MP4 and text, MP3, PDF and slideshow. Are you ready to take the next step in your food compliance journey? Visit HACCP.com today to create your profile and access the full versions of our food safety and quality information packages and much more.